I'm Susan Muller. I'm a professor here at the uh, Philip Merrill College of Journalism. So at the moment, I'm teaching two classes. One I've taught probably over the course of the time I've been here. Maybe I've taught around 10,000 students. It's a media literacy course, and it's a gen ed course. The students who come to Maryland, of course, many of them are, are so bright, top of their class wherever they were. And a lot of our non-journalism students in the class, a lot of them come from CompSci and engineering and, and BSOS. So they are some of the best of the best that are, who are here. And I think one of the real wake-ups for them is that they maybe aren't as media literate as they think they are. Um, we pretty early on have them walk through some sort of quizzes like can you detect fake news or is this disinformation or misinformation and they're usually not very good at detecting it. Of course it's very hard even when you know that there's something wrong. Very often we, we get in our evaluations comments from you know those same comp sci and engineering kids who came in with a little bit of a swagger saying oh my gosh I'm so glad I took this class. As a matter of fact, I've been telling my parents and my roommates you know, what they have to do in order to really feel like they're, um, they're getting news that is accurate. When the provost first came to the then dean and said, um, we want to do a media literacy class, and actually the dean at that point had also sort of solicited to the provost to, to do something like that. So it was a bit of a kismet. You know, there was a, always, an, always a sense that the university, not just the College of Journalism, needed to better understand the role of, of media in the world, and probably specifically the role of journalism. Um, you know, the fourth estate, here we are inside the Beltway. We, we live in Maryland, but we're inside the DC Beltway, and you know, we have world-class journalists and Pulitzer winners and, uh, you know, on staff here. So it was clear that, that we needed to serve the university because there's not a department, school or a college at the university that doesn't need the skills we have and whose students, whether they're undergrads or PhD students, isn't going to have to, at some point in their career, interface with the media. They have to get, you know, news out about what they're inventing, you know, what they're performing. They need the skills that we have. Um, and so it was part of our service, Merrill's service, uh, to the community. But I think very much in-house and very much currently, it's understood that media literacy is a core competency. It's a core skill, you know, for K-12 students, certainly for college and grad students. Uh, and of course for, for adults as well. Um, we really see media literacy, the course and maybe the skill set as being core to American democracy. It's, we're going to protect American democracy and it needs our support. Um, media literacy is very much part, one of the pillars. I came here in 2001. Uh, sort of a week after I arrived was 9-11. Tough introduction to the, to the area. And at that point, some, it wasn't pre-internet, but it was pre-social media, a lot of the research was pretty formulaic in terms of, it wasn't very interdisciplinary. Maybe that's the easiest way of putting it. Since I've been here over the last two decades, uh, what I found is instead of the professors staying in their individual silos, that's the historian, that's the, you know, that's the economist, that's the political scientist and so forth, even if we're all under the same hat of um, the Merrill College, that we're, we, we work a lot together. Uh, and whether it's on, you know, the projects that CNS and the Howard Center do, uh, or whether it's on book chapters and, and books and, and articles that we do for the major journalism conferences. There's a lot of interchange and that's what the world needs. It needs to have people who have those different skill sets, the different backgrounds, the different perspectives of, of, of race and gender and, and identity of all kinds, you know, contributing um, their own perspectives. I think that's where we really excel as a college, not just here at College Park, and not just here in DC, but it's, it's 
why we're the journalism college to beat in the world. We really are. I wouldn't say it if I didn't believe it. I would just not say anything. But we're doing more exciting things here, um, particularly in how we're conceptualizing our research and our place in society than I think any other school is anywhere.